So for this video, we're going to look at putting marks in our pot. And it really depends on what you're trying to achieve as to what kind of marks you place in your pot. But you can put marks in your pot using a pencil that's nice and sharp. And you're just etching into the very top part of your pottery. And then you might wipe off some of those areas and then make sure that that mark looks good to you. It's going to be a slow process where you have to keep going back in and kind of wiping it off. And you want to wipe off your pencil. You want to wipe off the line as you go along. You're trying to uh, draw a person who is in motion. So keep in mind some of the things that we've learned about drawing people who are in motion that they have knees and elbows that are going to help show the motion because we can bend at the knees and elbows. So in this case, my person looks like they are running. And I'm just getting the general drawing done real quick. Now I just uh, popped over a, a spot where I had done a line earlier. So I'm going to actually use the eraser to smooth that out so that I don't see that uh, line that I should not have drawn in that spot. I'm going to draw a new one there. And so that's how you get in there and draw using a pencil. And obviously you're going to have to wipe your lines a little bit each time. It's best to do it as you're drawing rather than doing it afterwards because as you can see where I was doing it afterwards, the little crumbles are getting into the line, and so I have to basically redraw that line. So you want to do it as you're going. So that's one way of affecting your pot. Uh, you can draw into it. Now, the next video, we're going to talk about actually adding things onto the pot. So this is more of a subtractive method where we're etching into the pot and taking off some of the clay. All right, see if that's the way you wanna do yours and then go ahead and get started on etching into your pot.